Good morning, South Amboy Elementary School. Welcome to the first Mindful Monday of October. This is Mrs. Masella. I hope that you had a wonderful weekend. And I'm very excited because we get to do the wave breath again. And when I hear the wave breath, what do I think of that I love? The ocean. You got it. You got it. So with this breath, I very strongly recommend that you close your eyes. I know that some of you may still not be comfortable doing that. I want you to challenge yourself to get more comfortable with it. Okay. I'm not going to make you do it this time, but I'm hoping more people do, do close their eyes this time than last time. Okay. I will have my eyes closed, so I won't have any idea whether or not your eyes are open or closed. Okay. But remember that when you're doing this breath, you're actually imagining your breath as one of those ocean waves that comes in, touches the sand, and then goes back out to the ocean in and out okay so that's what i want you focused on remember that your feet can you hear them? are flat on the floor and we are breathing in through the nose holding for about a second or two and then out through the mouth and we want nice nice deep 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 breaths in and then whoo slow relaxed deep breath out get as much out of it as you can because you're imagining that whatever stress or worry, or frustration, or anger, or sadness, all that stuff that's floating around in your head and in your heart that makes you feel yucky when you're exhaling, when you're blowing out, you're blowing all that stuff out of your body, okay? So, wave breaths. <sighs> Welcome to the ocean. That's where Mrs. Masella is imagining herself right now, and I will do my first breath. Number two. Again. And we'll do one more. Great job. What I noticed for myself this time was that I was breathing in as much as I could, but when I breathed out, I could make that last longer than my inhale. So my inhale was a little bit shorter than my exhale. Even though I, I was breathing in as much as I could, I could feel my whole body fill up with the air. I couldn't fit any more in, but yet when I exhaled, it felt like my exhale lasted longer than my inhale. So I just happened to notice that. Did you notice anything about your breath when it, when you were doing it? Maybe you did, maybe you didn't. Last week we talked about being present, right? Not that we're a gift, not that kind of present. We are a gift, but not something that you wrap up in a box with a pretty bow or in a nice little gift bag, not that kind of present. It means being in the moment, being aware of what's happening around you paying attention to it and focusing in on it don't let yourself get distracted by thoughts that are in your head or by other people around you being present in the moment means that you're concentrating on what's happening in front of you hopefully right now you are present here with me listening to my voice looking at my face and practicing your breaths if you did all that then that means you're present you're being present in the moment so this week, we are continuing to be present in a very specific way because we are focusing in on our breath. I noticed that my inhale didn't last quite as long as my exhale. So I'm aware of how I'm breathing. That's what I want you focusing in on this week. And that's our statement for this week. I am aware of my breath. It's very easy to be aware of your breath when you're playing or doing any kind of exercise because we notice we start breathing heavier 
when we're doing some exercise or when we're playing a lot, running around, chasing, catching a ball, playing basketball, baseball, whatever it might be. So it's really easy to be aware of our breath then. What I want you to, I'm challenging you this week is to be aware of your breath when you need to be focused. So if you are getting ready to take a test, I want you to take notice of your breath. Are you breathing in a very slow, relaxed way, which means that your head is ready to concentrate and do your very best? Or are you, (sighs) when you're breathing fast like that, it means that your body is not relaxed and you're not focused. You're not present because something up here or in here is causing you to be upset. So if you're breathing very fast or very quick, short breaths, that's almost sometimes you might hear it called hyperventilating. You have to slow that breath down so that you can calm your body down. Okay. So that's your message for this week. I am aware of my breath. Okay. And if you are noticing that you are breathing either very fast or very heavy or it just doesn't feel like it normally does when we're doing our deep breaths together, that's a little signal to you to say, hmm, something's going on. I'm not present in the moment. Something's distracting me. Something's upsetting me. Let me take a, take a few seconds and let me focus in. Let me slow down. Let me take some of those deep breaths and then I'll be ready to continue my day. Okay, does that make sense? I hope. All right, my friends, so say it with me. I am aware of my breath. Easy peasy, mac and cheesy. Okay, I hope that you have a wonderful week and I will see you next time. Bye, everybody.